People gonna get offended by your content. People gonna get offended by your religion. People gonna get offended just by the way you look. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can look a certain way and people are gonna just automatically get offended by it. You know what I'm saying? Now, you try to do content that may or may not be something that that pleases to other people, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't, that doesn't, you know, make or break what the or what you are. You know what I'm saying? You you do things. You make decisions, and you are judged by the decisions that you make. If you make a if you make a judgment call and it's a bad call then everybody gonna have an opinion about, about you and that bad call. A decision, and it's based on a good call, then you're gonna get a lot of people that's gonna like that good call. And then you're gonna get a lot of people that don't like that good call. You can't please everybody. And I guess everybody is not to be pleased. Take this open B. B. Honorable singles. Honorable singles. Honorable singles. Me. Me. I take this open B. Yo, what's up? It is twelve talking chill time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lockout men in the truck. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe comment, share, <laughs> hit that bell on the way out the door. What's going on? I am Lockout Man, and I am here today at Gaffner's here in Chillicothe, Ohio. I have a load that I am picking up, and it's heading up to Monroe, Wisconsin. So I got my paperwork all ready. So as soon as I hook up to the to the trailer that I'm getting, we gonna get up out of here. All right, seat belt warning. I got you. I got you. I'm putting on my seat belt right. What's going on, y'all? On this fine, chilly, cold morning in Ohio. Well, I made a, a YouTube uh, live video yesterday. I had a nice little conversation with uh, with uh, the princess of Dizzy Hill. And I come to find out that she had the gastric bypass surgery. So, you know, we went into a little conversation about that. You know, how the surgery went and, you know, how's the recovery and everything. So nice little conversation I have with her right there. Do you have weight issues or anything like that? Or you struggle with your weight or anything like that? You know, and you want to, you want to get better you guys are able to you know do something about it like you know like uh, you know you know like starting starting a routine or something like that if your weight is uh, a serious problem then you know you can you can do like the princess of Dizzy Hill and uh, another youtuber did the same thing 
you could probably go and uh, go for the gastric surgery. 91850. It's in the door. Huh. They got it in the door. I hope it's I hope it's loaded and ready. All right, all right. So let's get up into this topic, man. Let's talk talking chill topic, yo. I came across my topics. Majority of my topics come from Facebook. And this one is from the CDL Life. And uh, this topic is truck driver arrested at rest stop after feds make a $150 million opioid bus. Two men are facing the possibility of life and a $10 million fine. Now, let me ask you this question. I, I, I always want to know, I always wanted to know, okay? Somebody, somebody help me, help me out with this, all right? So, you get busted, you, you, you get busted, you get arrested, you go to jail, you're in jail for X amount of years. When you come out of jail, you're automatically in debt. How the hell are you gonna pay back $10 million while you're in jail? And when you come out of jail or come out of prison, how the hell are you gonna get that good job to start paying off a $10 million fine? Why even charge fines to these guys when you're going to put them in prison anyway? And, and you're already, and they already said you're facing life in prison. But they still going to put a $10 million fine on you. How am I going to pay that off? Federal authorities arrested two men after they discovered a massive amount of heroin and fentanyl in the trailer tractor at a New Jersey rest stop. 48-year-old California-based truck drivers or truck driver Louis Apanti and 29-year-old Pennsylvania resident Danny Diaz were both arrested and charged with a single count of conspiracy to process with the intent to distribute. Authorities say that Apache that a pointy drove his truck to a rest area in Bloomsbury, New Jersey on March 1st. A pointy parked overnight at the rest area and then on March 2nd, a pointy met with Diaz inside of a car at the rest area and allegedly gave Diaz seven grams of fentanyl while the, true, while the two drove a short distance away from the rest area. After the transaction was made, agents of the DEA pulled over the car and arrested both men and returned to the rest area to search a pointy's truck. Inside the truck's cab and refrigerator, they found another 13 kilograms of fentanyl and five kilograms of heroin. They also found $17,000 in cash in a backpack. <laughs> he was about to go and buy. But my question is this, how the hell did DEA manage to find out about the handoff? I mean, the dude went up to the, to the truck stop or rest area, parked overnight, and then hooked up with Diaz in the morning. How did the DA or DEA know to follow they use codes to hide their patron phone numbers. And when someone does use a phone, they don't use names. And if someone does use a name, he's reminded not to. All of that is valuable evidence. Of what? Conspiracy. Unless they already had somebody either on the inside or they already had an investigation going while, while Aponte and Diaz was making the transaction. Conspiracy? We're building something here, detective. We're building it from scratch. Because right after they made the transaction, it, by the looks of the story, they got busted. All the pieces matter. Both Diaz and Appointee are facing a mandatory minimum sentence of 10 years in prison 
and the possibility of life in prison in addition to the possibility of a fine of $10 million each. So again, when you put me in prison, how the hell you expect me to pay you $10 million? Both men are held without bail. Multiple agencies are investigating the large-scale drug bust, including the DEA's New York Drug Enforcement Task Force, the New York City Police Department, and the New York State Police. Over the weekend, we stopped 150 million worth of opioids from getting into the Northeast and into over 15 million users' hands said DEA agent in charge. Man, they, they stopped 150 million worth of opioids and heroin that's still trying to get into the United States, man. Look, if you're gonna be doing dirt, if you're gonna be doing dirt like, like you know, be a drug mu uh, a drug mule or something like that. Listen here. Make sure you have all your stuff on point. You step out of the car, sir. Keep your hands where I can see them. Turn around, face the car. Put your hands on the roof. Are you carrying any uh, weapons, sir? No. Any knives, any needles? No. Any legal substances I should know about? Okay. Bring your legs back. Risk the fact of having a dirty truck and or a car if you got dirt that you're moving. You, you gotta make sure that everything's on point. Your lights, your brakes, everything, you know, everything. You don't wanna give them a reason to stop you. Giving them a reason. That's why all these drug stops on the highway for the simple, for, for they getting pulled over for the simplest things and that's how they getting busted. Man, listen, that story, that, that story came from a CDL life. Yo, let's talk about it in the comments below, man. Let's get at it. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think? They, they said it was up under investigation, so they must have been on dude's case for a while, and then they just made this uh, big bust. But if a driver, truck driver, is carrying that amount of cash on them for no other apparent reason, then yeah, that is the, you know, buy drugs or, well yeah, buy drugs or buy more drugs. Determination and perseverance by our police department. And while I am told that this investigation is continuing. This is good morning, yo. This is truck talking chill time. You know what I'm saying? Yo, let me tell you something before I get up out of here. Um, not all content is going to appease everybody, all right? Not all content is going to be looked upon as favorable content. You're going to get strong opinions from any and everybody that thinks that the content will maybe be offensive, rude, condescending, or anything of that matter. All, I'm, all I got to say is, is that you can't please everybody and everybody just can't be pleased. Lockout Me and G Style 23 channel is an entertainment channel. Uh, it's not just a trucking channel, it's a lifestyle channel because I, I talk about any and everything other than trucks. It's, it is what it is with my channel. My channel got a, my channel got a, a base of everything. So. It is for everybody and it's not for everybody, but I do appreciate everybody that subscribes to me. I'm gonna go down in them corners, let the people know. Word did not get back to me. My name is my name. I do appreciate all my viewers. I do appreciate the LOM community once you become a part of the community. So come on, be a part of the community. Make sure you hit that bell on the way out the door. With that said, I am Lockout Man, so come aboard. 
and hook a brother up with some coffee. I'm thirsty. Peace. I'm gone, I ain't coming back But you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back Ain't no sunshine